I appreciate the warning, but you shouldn't have come yourself. What if the guild found out, or... what's his name? Are you worrying for me, or for yourself? A little of column A, a little of column B. I am the expendable one, after all. Oh, <laughs> don't worry, I'll protect you. We'll just have to... Well, this is a surprise. You're the Inquisitor, right? Bianca Davry, at your service. Any friend of Varric's is welcome here. Be careful saying things like that. Some of his friends you don't want to meet. Well, maybe you do. Who am I to judge? Bianca's got a lead on where Corypheus got his red lyrium. The site of Bartrand's folly, the tag Varric found, has been leaked. There's a deep roads entrance crawling with strange humans carting out red lyrium by the handful. How do we know they're not using multiple entrances to get to the Taig? Navigating the deep roads isn't like the surface. There's no accurate maps of the whole system, and there are cave-ins, dark spawn, lava floods. If you find a route that gets where you're going, you don't deviate. Trying to find another way could be deadly. Who could have given away the Taig's location? There were a few people who knew. Hirelings from the expedition, a couple of close friends. How they found out isn't important. What matters is we know where they are now. If it's such a secret, how do you know about it, Bianca? I told her. Right after the expedition, I wrote and told Bianca what we found. I had artifacts that needed buyers, and she had more contacts that would pay for them. Plus, I owed her. You can get there from Orlais. It's a long way to the free marches. The deep roads are all connected, or they used to be. Collapses and such, some of them on purpose. They really are roads. They spanned the Dwarven Empire, went to every corner of the continent, maybe further. In theory, you can get to any Taig using the deep roads, but in practice, well, there's a reason nobody uses them anymore. We need to deal with this. As long as he has this source, Corypheus is that much more powerful. I couldn't agree more. I'll keep an eye on their operation. If you're interested in shutting it down, you've got my help. Try not to leave me waiting too long, Varric. I've got my own work to do, you know. Right. That's not going to be trouble at all. Let me know when you want to head to the entrance. I told them the offer was the best we could do. And of course they said no. They want to They think we're too close to do anything bad. Shame they're wrong. Inquisitor, I must speak with you. What is it? I must explain something first about the Montelier's fortunes. My family made their fortune as traders in Antiva until a scandal exiled us from Orlais some ages ago. It devastated our finances. The Montelliers have, in fact, been in debt for over a hundred years. I had no idea your family's situation was so precarious. Hardly anyone outside the family does. For generations, we've done everything to keep creditors at bay. Sold our lands to stave off interest. It's just... it is infuriating to see my family still reduced to this. I'm to become head of our house. If I sell any more of our land, my family will become destitute. That cannot be my legacy to them. Most people worry about their next meal, never mind an estate. I'm not blind, but I worry for my family. My foolish sister Yvette with her daydreams, my brothers trying to rebuild our fleet with their own hands. Is it wrong to hope they never know hardship? Is there anything I can do? I'd almost solved our problems. For a while. I negotiated a chance to reinstate the Montelliers as landed traders in Orlais. We could rebuild with that. But when I dispatched paperwork to Val Royau, <sighs> I've just learned my carriers were murdered. And the documents restoring my family's trading status destroyed. Do you have any idea who murdered them? Leliana made inquiries that bore success. Comte Boivere, a nobleman in Val Royau, claims to know who killed my messengers. He has a request. 
that you come when I meet him, so he's seen publicly conferring with you. What will being seen with me gain the Count? The Count will drop hints at parties he's to meet with an important visitor. Allies and rivals will take note. Once he's met you, there will be speculation. The Count will subtly spin reports to his advantage. He will use us. But if he knows who killed my people, I ask that we indulge him. If that's what it takes to get to the bottom of this, I'll meet this Comte with you. Thank you, Inquisitor. It means... You are too kind. I must know who killed my couriers just to harm my family. Did you know we're actually related, Inquisitor? Related? Oh, not first cousins or anything like that. Can you imagine? You're a Trevelyan, however, and somewhere in the dank nethers of my family tree, there was also a Trevelyan. Perhaps he was even the one who ventured to Ostwick to establish the branch. We are talking long ago, of course. I'd rather we weren't related. That might make flirting awkward. Depends on which branch of the family you come from. <laughs> Regardless, I think we're still good to go. By at least three ages. I should go. As you wish. Gloat all you like. I have this one. Are you sassing me, Commander? I didn't know you had it in you. Why do I even... Inquisitor. Leaving, are you? Does this mean I win? Please, don't stop on my account. All right, your move. You need to come to terms with my inevitable victory. You'll feel much better. Really? Because I just won, and <laughs> I feel fine. Don't get smug. There will be no living with you. I should return to my duties as well, unless you would care for a game. Prepare the board, Commander. As a child, I played this with my sister. She would get this stuck-up grin whenever she won, which was all the time. My brother and I practiced together for weeks. Oh, the look on her face the day I finally won. Between serving the Templars and the Inquisition, I haven't seen them in years. I wonder if she still plays. You have siblings. Two sisters and a brother. Where are they now? They moved to South Reach after the Blight. I do not write to them as often as I should. Ah, oh, it's my turn. All right, let's see what you've got. This may be the longest we've gone without discussing the Inquisition, or related matters. To be honest, I appreciate the distraction. We should spend more time together. I would like that. Me too. You said that. We should finish our game, right? My turn? I believe this one is yours. Well played. We shall have to try again sometime. Yes? I thought we could talk. Alone. Alone? I mean, of course. It's a nice day. What? It's... There was something you wished to discuss. I find myself thinking of you more than, well, all the time, really. I, I can't say I haven't wondered what it would be like. What's stopping you? You're the Inquisitor. We're at war, and 
You... I didn't think it was possible. And yet I'm still here. So you are. It seems too much to ask. But I want to. Commander! You wanted a copy of Sister Leliana's report. What? Sister Leliana's report? You wanted it delivered without delay. Or to your office. Right. If you need to... I'm sorry. That was, um... You don't regret it, do you? No. Uh, no. Not at all. 